So we have uh, David Aslan here with Inspect Canada, one of the top inspection agencies in the Lower Mainland. And today he's kind enough to give us some of his time and valuable knowledge um, and kind of talk about some things that us as realtors and also buyers and sellers should look out for when buying and selling a home. So David, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, great to have you. So I know uh, some of the things that uh, me, I've been doing real estate for a while now, and there's a few things I look at as far as red flags when I'm in a home, especially if they're a certain age. So could you touch on maybe um, what we should look at if a home is of a certain age or built in a certain time? Yeah, absolutely. Whenever you get a home that's either 50 years old or 100 years old, you'll find all kinds of different items that you don't find on the new stuff, right? So if we start here, for example, uh, th these are. This is just an example of where you can find asbestos inside your home. Let's say at least if it's 50 plus years. I mean, it's everywhere. It's in the ceiling tiles, in the insulation. Keep in mind, WCB, they recommend anyone that has a house that was built prior to 1990 to have it tested before any kind of renovation. Now, for sure, you won't get the vermiculite in the house from 1990, but you might get a little bit of asbestos inside the siding. And here I can just show you a little bit of a video on how this asbestos looks like. Uh, Sometimes we're wondering why we're wearing masks in the attic, but look how dusty this place is. And this is not regular dust. This is vermiculite. Vermiculite insulation dust. Known for its high contents of asbestos. So Dave, um, you know, you just showed us a video on vermiculite, but for, you know, myself and the other people that are watching, what is asbestos? What is vermiculite? Yeah, so asbestos was an absolutely wonderful product when they found it. It doesn't burn, it doesn't rot, it's just a great product, except for those who mined it and those who use it in construction. If they cut it, if it became airborne, make a dust, you, you breathe it, then it gives lung cancer. Mm -hmm. A lot of people died because of it. It's been completely removed off the market in the 70s, but there's still a little bit here and there, and we have to be very careful about it. So primarily it was used between 1950 to 1990? No, actually it was used from like probably the 1800 all the way up till 1990. Okay. But, but the, the areas where you'll find the most in the vermiculite insulation, it stops in 1950. After that, it'll be in a drywall compound, in some of the ceiling tiles, some of the flooring tiles as well. So me as an agent, when I'm showing my client, let's say a home that's built in the 1980s, uh, it'd be prudent to maybe advise that these walls might have asbestos in it. Absolutely, yeah. WCB recommends to have any homes prior to 1990 tested prior to doing a renovation. The chance they find some is actually very low from 1980, uh, but they could. Okay. Is there anything that... Uh, is there tests or is there anything that we could do as a buyer or buyer's agent to protect our clients or even vice versa? Maybe the seller that's selling their home is not aware that the home has asbestos. And I know you do the pre-inspection reports uh, for sellers. So is there some type of test or some type of service that maybe you provide or that you know is out there that can protect these uh, sellers and buyers? Well, in, in most cases, we know that any house that is old prior to 1960, 70, will have asbestos in it no matter what. It's almost a guaranteed fact. So we don't really test on it. Uh, if we find it in the attic, then obviously we see it, we'll, we'll report on it. Whether it's in the wall or in the tiles, there's some specialty companies, they will come do samples, they'll send it to a lab, and then you'll know for sure. But also, just a quick one, keep in mind that vermiculite sometimes does not have asbestos, so it also needs to be tested to be 100% sure. And do you know what the turnaround time is for these tests? Yeah, no, like they, they either have a two-day wait that you have to pay a little extra, or normally it's about seven days. Okay, so that's good for any agents out there that if you want to do that test, it's about a two to seven days depending on how rushed it is. So if you're writing a subject to something like that, uh, you want to take that in mind if the home is within that time frame. Absolutely. So, you know, just to kind of the final thing with asbestos. So asbestos, if it's not disturbed, is not dangerous. Absolutely. Okay. So it's only during renovation or whenever if you go in the attic and you start moving it. Okay, great. So just, you know, if you're, gonna, if you're a buyer or seller is planning on doing some type of substantial renovation or moving or cutting some things up, then it's a little bit of risk. But other than that, the risk is quite low. Yeah, and normally the contractor, whether they'll, they'll find out how old the house is and they will require to have some testing done to okay. protect their workers. Fair enough. Great.